The Clippers with the basketball as we begin the fourth quarter. And they've really had very little go right for them on either end of the floor. Remember that old line, your attitude determines your altitude? Well, when you see dejected faces on the sideline, that poor body language gave you an impression that they had no chance to win this game. Ball's controlled by Boston. To Brogdon. And the Clippers with the rebound. To George. Brown with it up top. His guys hold a commanding lead. Paul George. The pass set it all up. It's really a dope thing when passing becomes infectious. But don't become overly passive. Still take your shots when they're there. Brown into the front court. His guys holding the big lead. Here comes the screen. Even to Zubats. Rejects it. That's his third block this evening. Oh, he blocked that with authority. George to Wall. To Paul George. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Huh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref's bit, and that's the game. Paul George at the line for a chance at a three-point play. A career 84% free throw shooter. Boston with the basketball. Oh, emphatic slam. Jay, that's been the story this evening. I mean, another one? Another dunk? Another easy possession? I mean, how demoralizing can this be for the team? Why am I the only one yelling? I don't see anybody on the bench yelling. I don't see anybody on the court even angry right now. Paul George, 4-2. Tatum. He's not shy about shooting it from out there, but he misses this time. George against White. There it is, John Wall. He has struggled just a little bit, two for five. And Ed, here's my offensive theory. More touches, more points. This is a fast-paced league. Either the coaches adapt or you'll be left behind. Tatum. No good. To George. Trying to cash in, that's what you've come to expect. Your best players making baskets. Look, I get it. I've been one of the players who have had these mishaps happen to defensively. There is no worse feeling than the next day in film session watching yourself roam on the island by yourself. Somebody in this particular moment needs to tell you to get your head out of you-know-what to get back in the game. Here comes the screen. The pass taken away by the Clippers. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in a playoff game, it will. There it is, John Wall. Three for six now. What do you see in John Wall's game, Jay, that sets him apart? That he could probably finish with his left hand better than he could finish with his right. I remember watching him in high school. He was jumping off his right foot and dunking the ball lefty as if it was that easy. He can do it with both hands, which makes him way more efficient around the rim. That right there, Jay, his eighth three of the game. He is putting on a show. He's defying physics with that jumper. He's not even holding his foul through. Now the Clippers call a timeout as they'll make sure they're all on the same page here in the fourth quarter. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. 4-3. Great defense, forcing the miss. It's L.A. Clippers ball. Wall over to the right side. That's off of Leonard, out of bounds. Brown with it up top. His guy's up by 15.
Here comes the screen. And he's fouled. Very close. Free throws coming up. I don't know, Ed. Maybe there's a long-term play here. But next game, we're going to be aggressive early. Maybe. First one, count it. Two for two on that trip. Clippers have the basketball. Wall. To Covington. Robert Covington with the strong finish. Oh, man, did you see that swiftness? He dunked that thing like a tennis ball. It looked like that in his hand. Even to Zubats. Pins it. Fourth this contest. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. To Jalen Brown. Here's a chance from long range. He's been dialed in from long distance. That's now five threes for the game. Nothing more painful than the next day watching tape, seeing the fact that he got 15 points off three-point shots. Wall across the timeline. His guys down big. Celtics have it. Here comes the screen. Going to launch beyond the arc. They have to keep him in their grasp. And this squad just continues to light it up from long range. One of the things I learned about teams like this, teams that fall in love with a three-point shot, as quickly as they built the lead is as quickly as they can lose it if they're over-reliant on the three-point shot. Wall to Luke Kennard. Blake Griffin sends it away. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than actually making the shot. Paul George. Missed a wide open look to Jalen Brown. George. Nice pass to set things up. Reggie Jackson, not that time. Just seems like there's lead in the feet of the defenders. You have to bounce quicker to the ball to deter that shot. Rises for the slam. At this point, they're twisting in the wind. Were you looking for a response from me? Because I don't really know what else there is to even say. I mean, is this even a game? I mean, we should just start packing up and getting ready to go right now. I got him. I got ball. I got ball. I got ball. I got ball. I got so far. Jackson to Paul George. Jackson to George. Converts in the paint. Nice finish at the rim. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. I cannot miss. To Marcus Morris. Leonard. Paul George to Marcus Morris. That's toughness right there. Physical inside, gets it to go. And you always feel like the words vision and unselfishness go together. They work cohesively as a unit. When you have a guy that has both, that sets the tone for how your team is going to play. 
to Jalen Brown from long range. He was all over him. Leonard to Paul George. Has a look. The shot by George won't go down. To Griffin. Tatum. Ten threes for him now in the game, Jay. Just astonishing. And I can't believe what I'm seeing. It's only happened 30-something times since the three-point line went into effect in 1979. Goes to show you how big of a night he's having. How old were you back then? I was not born yet, my friend. Boom, baby. PG lets it fly. Not that time. To Jalen Brown. Beyond the arc for three. Not getting the bounce. To Leonard. To George. Strong finish for Paul George. He's been a one-man show, but Jay, they're still down in this one. He's their lone bright star, their only star tonight. Some other of the supporting cast members really need to step up. To Jalen Brown. Here comes the screen. Tatum. And the Clippers able to clear the board. Great feed. Nice pace. Sets it up and slams it down. Ooh, shows like this separate the good players from the great ones. The good players, they have good first halves, and then they fade to black in the second. The great players, they just sustain that kind of dynamic energy throughout the entire ball game. And finishes strong. And no emotion, just that ice-cold stare. That's a sign of somebody who's here to compete. To Brogdon. And the rebound comes down to the Clippers. Jackson with it. Down a bundle. George knocks it down. That was a tough shot. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. Leaving no doubt. Slams it down. Now the Celtics going to use a timeout as they'll talk things over here in this fourth quarter. Some lineup changes now for both clubs. George. And a pass stolen by Boston. You better get back on D. This thing is not over. Tatum knocks it down. And they're relentless with these long shots. It just seems like their spacing is perfect. And they come down, they know exactly where they want to be. And they're shooting the ball without hesitation. Clippers with the basketball. Celtics come away with it. That's all she wrote. Dribble it out. Griffin. Probing the defense. Tatum. Here comes the screen. Shot off the mark. Good defense. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. Bad pass there. Clippers have it. Paul George. Celtics have it. Can't slam it down. Batum to Reggie Jackson. Nice pass to get things going. As my mother would say to the defender, A for effort, F for results. Tatum. Cleans it up. Cleans it up to Griffin. 
has a chance. Deep two there, won't go. I'm not sure that the contest on the shot contributed to the miss, but what it might have done is seep into the confidence of the shooter that the next time he might decide to try to drive to the rim instead of settling for a jump. To Griffin. Marcus Morris able to recover with the block. You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. Shot by Zubats off the mark. Oh, how about that? A three at the buzzer. That's going to bring some icy stares from the other bench. This one is now all over. Jalen Rose here, and I've got your EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Celtics emerged victorious after a tight finish. I could get into detail about their play calling and shot selection, but let's be honest. We all know that the dunks were the most exciting. I'd be surprised if the rim isn't a little bit bent at this point. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Boston Celtics. The Clippers are probably frustrated with themselves after such a narrow loss. And while they didn't win the game, they could have won a dunk contest they put down plenty of slams in this matchup. Check out the leading scores for the Los Angeles Clippers. Game track. Field goals. From an offensive standpoint, this was a quality game. The same can't be said for the defense. But still, it turned out to be an entertaining matchup. Player of the game. Tatum was aggressive today with his scoring, getting his points right at the basket. He put down a crazy number of dunks in today's matchup. We had picked them for you. Here are the top plays. Number two. Number one. This has been a presentation of ESPN on EA Sports. Until next time, I'm Jalen Rose, signing off.